Hello and welcome to another Build a Bag or Arsenal building video. This one is for the Infinite Physics and Idle Cosmos. This is also release day for both if you're watching this on July 8th, and if you're not, either way, they're both available now. Uh, also, make sure to check out the Storm Bowling page on Facebook for their Guess the Scent contest for the Infinite. If you like our jerseys, Rose Doll 10 gets 10% off your order at checkout at Coolwick. The code is in the description to copy and paste. Follow my Bowlers Mart link in the description for your bowling needs. That associates your purchases with me, which helps me out quite a bit, so thanks for using that. Check out the SRG BBFS group on Facebook for all things SPI, and of course, thanks to Turbo and especially Storm for their support. Also, the new Super Thanks button below the video on the line with the like and share buttons allows you to leave me a tip, other than that the early bird may get the worm, but worms are gross and mornings are stupid. The biggest question when it comes to buying a new ball right after what does it compare to is naturally where is it going to fit in my bag or my arsenal. I'm going to go a little sideways here because you don't always have to have certain balls in certain places. When I make my Sport Essentials videos and discuss what a 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 ball is, I'm speaking from a coverage on paper point of view, not necessarily from a heavy use or personal point of view. I for example really favor ASIMs while Angel really doesn't, so my arsenal is top heavy and Angel's is bottom heavy. For example, the Idle Cosmos is near the bottom of my bag, but the top of Angels. Since I cover the sport side of things in the Sport Essentials, I'm going to talk league bags. The numbers or placement are still relevant, but remember, you don't always have to have one ball from each category. If you favor certain general reactions, you can have several different shapes in a similar window, and there's really no point in buying or packing something that you're never going to throw just for the sake of having it, especially on a house shot. Preparing for sport patterns and transition usually requires a broader set of tools. Uh, once you bowl league in a center a couple times, you generally figure out what kind of stuff you need to take. The Infinite is definitely one of the strongest balls I own, and I do take it to league. It's seen virtually all of my league time since I got it. The number of things it allows me to do uh, also puts it high on the versatility side of things. In addition, round is my favorite shape, obviously, so it's easily an add to the bag. For Angel, it's still going. It's a bit strong for to use more than a game or two, but uh, how clean it is up front is really what lets her get away with it. Then because it's not sharp or angular, it gives her some flexibility and blend. Now it still hooks, there's no getting around that, but the way that it hooks is what gives her the ability to use it. Some balls like the Altered Reality really fly on the back end or are very sharp when they hit friction. Some like the Gem are diggy and early, but with the Infinite being basically a stronger Rubicon, the clean and round shape keeps the Infinite in place play. Next for me is the sideways move into the dark coat. For me, the dark is earlier and smoother than the infinite. They're very similar on hook potential, but this is a hook potential zone that I live in, so having shape complements in a zone that I generally stay in is more important to me than having some option further down the bag that I'm never going to use. If I'm having angle issues with the infinite or it's a little too long and or quick, the dark is there to roll a bit heavier, a bit earlier, and control the back end a little more. It's obviously still got plenty of pop itself, and there's not a huge difference, honestly, but it's there and relevant enough for me to want both. Back to Angel, I know that some of these are going to overlap with the Zen Souls Build-A-Bag, but the Nova just goes everywhere for her on everything, and I'm not going to fake something for the sake of showing extra stuff in a video. She loves her symmetric stuff, but the Nova really bridges that gap for when the Sims are lacking the torque, but something like the Infinite is too much. It has a medium strength cover and a really rolly core, so it's the perfect compromise. It's the easy button for her because it rolls like a symmetric ball, but it just doesn't get as lazy or slow down lane when she opens her angles up or there's a little carry down. Uh, the Nova fits perfectly here also because it's a, it's a solid straight step down from her infinite. The next ball down for me is an RSTX2. It's quite a bit cleaner than either the Infinite or the Dark. Uh, it's got both a weaker cover and a weaker core despite still being asymmetric. The result is a lot more length up front, a lot more shape down lane or a sharper back end. This one is especially useful for when the lanes are drying up because as soon as the Infinite or Dark get too early, I can slide right into this one and the extra friction is what this ball's built for. It'll balance that friction and basically react like the Dark and Infinite did when the lanes were fresh. Idle Cosmos is the next step down for Angel. It's got a very strong cover core combo. It's actually the second strongest symmetric ball Roto's ever released, right behind the Idle Helios. The Cosmos is cleaner and sharper than the Helios, but still pretty smooth and controllable. She's thrown it quite a bit already, and like I said in the review, this is right in her wheelhouse and exactly the type of reaction she likes. Now, it's still pretty strong, so despite making it longer into a set than her asymmetric stuff does, it still gets to be too much after a couple games, especially with more traffic on the right side. 
provide. This or the Nova is usually the first ball out of the bag just depending on what she needs. Next one down or really sideways for me is the Cosmos also. Control and traction are two big things on the left side and if I'm having issues with my asymmetric stuff being too strong overall and especially too quick down lane, the Cosmos gives me a similar traction level as the Dark and Infinite just with less punch down lane and more control. I say sideways from the X2 because the Cosmos has a much stronger cover and an even lower RG but lacks the asymmetric torque, so the X2 still generates more aggression from the core. If I'm in a situation where there's oil but the back ends are too sharp, I'm going Cosmos, but if the lanes are drying up or I need more shape, I'll go X2. The next one is also a ball sideways for Angel. The Zen Soul is, is still getting action and working well. It's a little weaker than her Cosmos, but also longer and stronger, so it's more of a straight up shape complement. If the Cosmos is too slow or lazy, she goes Zen Soul. If the Soul is too sharp, she goes Cosmos. Really good pair to run together, especially if you like stuff in this general zone. We don't always continue to use stuff just because it's new. We're going to use what scores, obviously, but a lot of these recent releases have been really effective for us, fortunately. Last one down for me that I hardly ever use but still take is the High Road. It's the ultimate bailout ball because I can always just move left and walk it down the side and have at least something. And it doesn't really matter what kind of condition I'm on. It's very controllable and consistent somehow despite the higher RG and cleaner cover. This is why it's been around forever. It's so easy to get to the pocket and it's effective at the pocket which is the real kicker. There's a lot of balls that are good at getting to the pocket but getting stuff done when they get there is a different story. Uh, it's the same for Angel. The High Road's one that has to go everywhere because her biggest issue is when the track starts burning and she either has to get deep or everything's too early. This one uh, gets down the lane and will give her a nice blend of strength, control, and forgiveness. Uh, this is one of the few that I don't hesitate to recommend. I think everyone could find a use for a High Road. It may not be a heavy use ball. It really isn't for me, but when you need something in that range, it's just still the best in its class at doing what it does, and it's done it for almost 14 years now. Big shout out and major thanks to all my Patreon subs and my great Discord community that I don't talk about or thank nearly enough. Thanks Storm, Turbo, Bowlers, Mart. Remember to follow that link in the description to get these things ordered. Coolwick and SRGBBFS, thank you for watching and may the strikes be with you. <laughs>